So following on from the previous video, we got to uh, we got to this stage. We got to um, we got to this stage uh, where we can rewrite this as uh, as this. So and we can rewrite this as this. Um, now now this is of uh, of this form. So you've got your one one and then one one and then plus the bubble here plus this x here and then here you've got one 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 plus and then this bubble here this bubble here. So now we uh, we can make use of this now. So so this will then become this will then become so don't forget this whole thing here is your your x here. So you've got to put this into into here into this x here. So it would be minus one to the power of n. It would be minus one to the power of n and then you've got your 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 x to the power of n. So you've got your your x to the power of n. So you've got your bubble here, x here, your x is this whole thing here, and then to the power of n. And then now looking at this, uh, this is of, uh, of this form, uh, and then uh, and then now you can make use of this, so so you can put this whole thing here, this whole thing here is your x. That means you can put it into here. So this would be uh, negative 1 to the power of n, negative 1 to the power of n, and then you've got your, your bubble, and then you've got your bubble here to the power of n. And then you've got your bubble here to the power of n. So, uh, well, this here is just a constant. Um, so, so this whole thing here, this whole thing here will then become this. Okay, now, now if you look at this, um, if you look at this series, um, this series is, uh, is valid when the, um, when the, the absolute value of, the, of our bubble, the absolute value of our bubble is strictly less than one. Uh, and then this series is valid for when our from where for when our bubble here is strictly less than one. So hang on. So this series is only valid for 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 this thing here being for this thing here the absolute value of that thing there being less than one. That's this thing here. And then uh, and then this series is only valid for when this thing. When this thing, when the absolute of that thing is less than one, when the absolute of that thing is less than one. So now uh, this series is only valid for, uh, well, it's, it's valid for x being in between, uh, in between a half and seven over two, and then for this series it's valid for, for for x being in between one and three. So so this series is valid for this. This thing here, this series here is valid for this. So when when you so so uh, so this thing here is uh, is from a half to three and a half. That would be here, and then this thing here would be from one to three. Now, uh, you see, our, our whole our whole series is a combination of the two. So you what so so you see, it's not you you you've, you've got to use this. Uh, you, you've got to use from one to three. You can't use. Suppose you select something in between here, and then then then. Well, if you select, let's say three point one. Well, three point one would be valid for uh, for for this one for this one, but it won't be valid for this. Well, it, because our our series is a combination of the two, it has to be valid for this and this. So so it's better to be safe uh, and stay within within this interval here. So so select something in between. One and three, because if you select, let's say, um, 0.998, say, then then it's um, it's valid for for this one, but it won't be valid for this. So it, it, in order for well, because a series a combination of the two, then um, then make sure you select this smaller one of the two, the smaller interval, which is which is this one here. Okay, so so we are we are currently here. So so this this series is valid for. For x being in between one and three, okay. So, so, um, so looking. So we are currently here. So we are currently, we are currently here. Now it's just a matter of tidying this up. So, so push this into here. So that would then be uh, this thing here would then be this, and then uh, and then merge the two together because these two are moving to infinity on par with each other. So you you can just say. It would be this whole thing here plus this whole thing here. So it'd be this whole thing here plus this whole thing here. By the way, I should have brackets here, but 
I want to keep it nice and tidy. So um, so so let's start again. We've got to push this into here, so that will then give us this, and then uh, and then here you've got uh, this thing to the power of n, this thing to the power of n, and then you've got this thing to the power of n, and then you've got this thing to the power of n. So basically, this time this to the power of this will then be this, and then this will then give you this. Uh, and then let me think. Uh, let me think. Um, and then, uh, and then you, you well, if, if you look at this, well, from here, uh, this block, imagine this as being one block and one block. So you can factor this out. That will then give you this, this block. And then, uh, and then, and then if, if you think about it, this times this times this, that will then give you, that will then give you this. Because this is a positive. Yeah, and then, and then here you've got a negative here. That would then explain this negative here. So now this times this times this block here will then give you this. Okay. So think about it. From here you can tidy this whole thing up. That would then take you to here. So this is your final answer. Okay.